Greetings fellow humans, Bad Mark here with Mech Tech Keyboards and today we've got another review out of the box. This is the Red Dragon K631 Caster Pro. Now, I'll have to say right off the bat, this is the keyboard that I use for my video workstation, the one that I'm recording this on right now. This is the K631 regular. Um, I bought this when they first released them. Um, I personally am a big flan, flan, <coughs> fan of plastic plates. I think that the sound that, uh, you know, whether it be polycarbonate, <coughs> even FR4s, uh, fiberglass, um, as long as it's not a metal plate. I mean, don't get me wrong, I can work with a metal plate, but the metal plates, I think, are just a lot harder and tend to lean more on the higher tones, whereas plastic, I think, means on the deeper tones. I, I'm not a scientist. I have nothing to back that up. This is just how my impression from my experience. <coughs> that said, um, I've, I'm sure you guys, if you watched any of my videos, you've seen some of the uh, EU Su TKL boards that I've modified. Um, those are as well, all plastic, and I love the sound that I get out of the pop. Um, I can, with some SA caps and the right linear, I can get some real deep thought out of what is essentially on sale of $14.99, $15 reward. So when I first, I, I picked 65% for me. I mean, I can work on a 60%, but if I'm doing code, I mean, it's one thing if I'm writing an email, no problem. But if I'm doing code, I've got to keep, you know, all of my variables basically up here and so that kind of uses up the space where I have to remember, okay, I'm on a 60%, so for this key, it's that, for this key, it's that. And some of that, basically some of the horsepower gets moved over and just remembering all the layers and everything. So 65% is the minimal for me. I love TKOs. I probably will always be a TKO fan, but I can work just fine off of 65%. But anyway, I'd gotten this board a while back. <clears throat> Not this one, the K631 regular. This is the Pro. Pro meaning that it has wireless. Um, I know a lot of folks out there are just like, well, if the keyboard does not have wireless, then I'm not in. I personally, I don't really care. Although if you were to have to make me choose, I would choose no wireless. Why? Spicy pillows. I don't want a bunch of spicy pillows just you know, sitting, waiting around for them to pop. Um, so, but, Having wireless is very useful. I know my kids, they love wireless on their keyboards because they use it with their cell phones. I'm, I don't know if I'm going <laughs> to, I know my kids grew up, they've had a cell phone since they were little. So the world is different. A tablet, a cell phone, just fine for writing out an email. If I'm going to write out an email that's more than one sentence, I'm going to sit down at a computer or a laptop. I, I don't feel like that something I'm, I mean, I can sit and write it on my phone, but I'm just. I guess I'm old school that way. Anyway, uh, like I told somebody the other day, uh, because there was an article in the New Yorker about customized keyboards, and um, it was Zeb, Zeb Butterworth on the subreddit. He's uh, French, I believe, if I'm French Canadian or French uh, from France. Please forgive me. I apologize. Anyway, he, uh, you know, made the point that, wow, you know, we're in the New Yorker. And I'm like, of course. I mean, even with the ubiquity of mobile devices <clears throat> i don't see keyboards going away anytime soon because uh regardless most of us are going to interact with the keyboard in one way or the other whether it's for work hobby um hell just you know just paying bills so being able to customize it i mean it's a tool that you use every day i'm honestly surprised that it took i mean because which whatever people want to say the pandemic definitely took this hobby into i mean it really it it skipped like five ten years of normal time uh and just kicked this hobby into i mean the market has grown significantly you've got players coming out of nowhere you've got all these existing manufacturers and just increasing um their numbers and i mean don't get me wrong they're selling they're selling some units they're moving some units and every day there are people coming in 
people are what I customized my keyboard um, and that number is growing it's just an exponential growth anyway sorry for the uh, mapping the other other thing right now I'm testing a different camera out and I will also be testing a different microphone out so I'm kind of in the middle I hope there's no technical issues with this one but uh, if there are please excuse me I'm doing my best to get my audio tuned in as finely as possible and to get the crispest video that I can I'm currently using an anchor camera and I love it it's 2k so it's not quite 4k and it doesn't have zoom but other than that it just works pretty easy anyway so today we're taking a look at uh, also disclaimer <laughs> I know I keep saying something uh, red dragon reached out to me um, I'm assuming because of my original video and they said they asked me if I wanted to try this out so this board was sent to me um, this is the first time uh, they've actually a company's actually reached out to me that I haven't had a you know a relationship with yet and they're just like hey would you like to review our board and I'm like sure uh, I you know they didn't make me sign any contract I've had uh, two offers but they were existing uh, not relationships we were talking through reddit but they wanted literally these companies I'm not gonna say anything to start crap but basically they wanted me to sign contracts stating that I was not only going to put in a lot of work but that I was going to be nothing but positive and to basically not talk about any negative aspects and I'm like and I might as well just stop making the videos I'm sorry because that I'm not going to compromise my my morals I mean I'm not going to lie if I don't like something I don't like something and I'll I'll stand up and I'll scream it so um for a company to try to get me to to do that that was very off red dragon did not do that they said here take a look at it tell us what you think and if you want to mod it even better because that's what i'm going to be doing we're going to be taking a look at the board today and see what it looks like stock and then i'm going to come back and i'm going to do what i did to this board which i i think it turned out pretty well um i'll link the uh because i actually i did this with i did a sound test i'm gonna say with different switches and keycaps but i quite enjoy them and I actually even lube the original switches they came with but another thing about these red dragon boards the new ones um, they have there are now three five pen hot swap compatible so basically any switch is gonna work now that's one thing to consider um, I know they're not an RK board a royal clutch but uh, they have been making boards for a while so let's take a look to see what this one has to offer I'm curious to see if they have the newer version of these hot swap sockets because uh, I believe it's Otemu that's making them. I know Red Dragon is now selling the Otemu switches as their own. But this one's actually better packaged than the original caster was. I know that because that was only one box and this is a box. I mean, not, not for nothing, but packaging matters. I mean, it doesn't have to be, you know, super, you know, shiny. But at least it'd be nice and have some markings. I like that. That's new and I like that. That's pretty cool. Anyway, let's see what we've got in the box here. Oh, yeah, this is definitely much better packed. This is a different color scheme than the original one I had. I believe it was just black. This one is a, looks like a red and black kind of mix. Let's set this aside for a second. So we've got your normal. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I know that. See, Keychron, this is what I'm saying. Red Dragon does it. I can't keep crying. This is a C to C cable, and you've got a tail hanging on to your converter to A, so you don't lose it. Why? Why? Why doesn't everybody do this? Thank you, Red Dragon. I appreciate this. This I really appreciate this. Even though I don't know if I'll ever use that cable. I have so many USB C cables now. It's not even funny. Um, these are probably some spare switches of the ones that I was talking to you guys about. I am a brute and I cannot open a simple little box without. Uh, all right. Oh, all right. So these are just the regular. So these are spare switches of the ones that already comes loaded with Red Dragon Reds. And I mean, I'm pretty sure these are made by Otemu because I know I can switch the top and the bottom housings around. No problem. Now, lube these things, they're not that bad. I mean, like I said, uh, I'll point to the video where I did all the sound tests because I did. I lubed the entire set. Yeah, I believe I got reds on this one originally too. And um, 
And we got our switch puller and our keycap puller. So the basic run-of-the-mill stuff. Go ahead and put you guys back in there. Oh, no, put you two. All right. Oh, we got a little manual. And we've got some P foam, which we will use later. Okay. So out of the box, actually, I could feel it just slightly heavier than the other one. I love that it has this, and it's not... There's a couple other keyboards that include this. Um, I don't have the other one around. Last one I did with this is the Soda 68. And all you had to do was that, and it would fall out. This one, I actually have to dig my nail in there to get it out because it's not only being held in there by a magnet, it's also being held in there by some pressure. Again, good job. Attention to details. These things matter. These things really matter. All right, so we got one set of feet for a total of two typing angles. I'm going to say the first one is roughly three to five. I'd say four, maybe four degrees, and the other one probably kicks you back up to six, maybe. I'm just guessing. But here we can see we've got the uh, caps lock indicator and M for mobile. So if we put into Bluetooth. All right, so obviously the battery does come charged. Now, what was the... Uh, I did not catch the size of the battery in here. Nowhere on here does it say the size of the battery. Oh, come on, Red Dragon. That's just not. There's one lithium polymer battery required, but it does not say the size of the battery. All right, well, I guess we'll know once we... Uh, open her up I'm because I mean I feel a little, a little bit heavier but not that much so I'm kind of five volt 660 milliamp 3.7 volt 216 milliamp. that still does not tell me I almost want to open it up just now right now but you know, today we're just taking a look at it real quick so all right, so we've got it in a Bluetooth mode right now. But, so these are the three pin switches, but let's see if we can get a nice zoom in on here. See how you can see the clamps actually probably best with it off. So you got the five holes, but for the pins, for the legs of the actual switch, that are making the contact, you've got those brackets, like alligator clips on almost. I forgot they have a name. But as you can see, see that's a plastic plate this is screwed into. Just like this one right here. I'm gonna have to unplug it so I don't do anything. And this one, I silicon poured this one, so that's why this one's much different weights. But what switches do I have in here? Oh. Oh. These are some dirty, well, they're uh, trash pandas with a black stem. So it's basically just a black linear. So, but looks like we're using the same case or the same dimensions of the case. This one does also have the cap lock on the side. Um, though obviously oh that's it ah, okay the caps lock there is the uh i guess the mobile light here yeah that's mobile i would guess huh all right so no oh, sorry about that so i gotta say for one i mean i will be modding this keyboard and replacing the keycaps, but I do like the um, the colorway. I believe the original ones that I got was just a black and gray or black all the way through. I don't, I, I can't even recall. I'll have to link the video down below. But it's your standard 65% layout. You got your function. This is function and function one. It's just one modifier. I have not taken a look at the Red Dragon software in a while so I'm gonna do that um, prior to doing the uh, uh, the modif modification video but 
I am, uh, I'm going to assume this has got to be a slightly different motherboard since it has the Bluetooth capability and the wireless capability. But off of the, um, off the cuff, honestly, I mean, these stabs definitely need some tuning, but they're not awful. I mean, that's the thing. They aren't, like, oh, they're going to kill me, not so, stop it. And when we take a look at them, they are actually, I mean, there's some looseness. So we can definitely tune them. Oh my goodness, look how loose that is. All right, so they're lubricated, but come on, Red Dragon. I mean, that's, I mean, either get the tolerances up or actually, you know, increase the, the width of the plate. I mean, there, there's many different ways to fix this, but this that ain't acceptable that's not i mean no one should deal with that i mean like i said they don't these stabilizers are definitely nothing nothing at all to write home about but let me go ahead and uh, try to bluetooth pair actually let me do this first let me plug and here we are plugged in. Sorry, I'm testing out some new audio video equipment. So if you see things kind of change resolution, um, audio volumes change, I'm just adjusting as I go along. So um, the effects, the standard for a lot of these, um, I don't want to fully call them gamer, though they started as gaming companies. I think they're trying their best to come into... Um, into the uh, into the world of enthusiasts, so they're making an effort. Uh, like I said, they invited me to go ahead and um, go crazy with modding and be honest. So I uh, I found that refreshing based on my previous exam or interactions with uh, these um, international brands. Let's just put it that way anyway so it it's got nice rgb it's not the brightest but it's definitely brighter than a lot of other kits in the same price range that i've seen um i don't test out wireless often um, but i think that for the modding video i'm going to take a look at the software because i know that has changed and supposedly it's become a lot better i'm also going to be taking a look at um plugging it in wirelessly and trying both Bluetooth um, I believe it has 5.0 on it as well as its 2.4 dongle but for now I'm just gonna go ahead and leave you guys with a sound test um, again I'm switching everything up so things might be looking a little different uh, while I get everything corrected but any feedback you guys have is truly appreciated because it helps me get um, the best i mean i'm not looking to make super fancy you know cuts and a bunch of slides and everything i'd rather spend my time actually you know doing some work on the boards and hopefully sharing information that is useful uh to folks in the community anyway we'll leave you guys with a sound test of this stock in the next video we'll be coming back to this uh keyboard and modding her up and seeing if how good we can make her sound i know that we can make her sound much better than she will stock but until the next time, keep calm, keep ward on.